Good afternoon. I'm Zach Trueblood. And I'm Jenna Hoover. And you're watching Senator Scene TV. Coming up on Senator Scene TV, teachers discuss new classes. Students get a demonstration in the dangers of texting and driving. And Brad Deaton brings us the sports update. Change seems to be the most apparent theme for West Washington in the 2011-2012 school year. This year's changes include new rules, new websites, and new classes. Rule changes have triggered frustration among many students. The number of absences each student allowed during a semester has been drastically reduced. In previous years, each student was allowed nine excused absences for each semester. Now, students are allowed five absences per semester with strict consequences in the event that they exceed that limit. Some people are wondering if this sudden change may result in the punishment of several students. And if you don't have a copy of the handbook, you can find it on West Washington's new website. Mr. Batchelor, Mr. Myers, and Mr. Fisher have worked hard to create this new site. There are many helpful links on the site, which allow students and family members to do things such as read through the daily announcements, check the cafeteria menu for the day, learn what different teams and clubs are up to, and even contact teachers or administrators. To check it out for yourself, visit www.westwashingtonschools.org. New classes emerged at the beginning of the year. Mrs. Pickens has introduced advanced placement language and composition, and Mr. Harkness launched the project-based learning class. We asked the educators to comment on those classes. Well, the purpose of advanced placement is to, first of all, prepare students at West Washington for college. Some of the material is new for me this year, so I'm doing my homework along with everybody else. So it's really hard to teach people how to write because um, there aren't any right or wrong answers with writing. I think the class is progressing really well and I've been really impressed with how hard the students are working. Well the idea behind it is that it's a it is a process in which students are, are pushed to learn material better. I have a purpose of why they need to learn it in a way that's more interesting to learn it and um, and it's, it's meant to be a challenge and the idea behind why we do it here is because the state is driving toward a more project-based uh, relevance uh, as far as why we're teaching what we're teaching and they're pushing for those things. On the 18th of October, students were released from their first period classes to attend a distracted driving convocation in the new gymnasium. The students watched an inspirational video on the consequences of texting and driving. Throughout the rest of the day, English teachers were instructed to take their students back to the gym each period. There, they were able to experience for themselves the consequences of texting and driving by using a driving simulator. In the simulator, students would receive random questions every 10 seconds on an iPhone. They would then have to attempt to keep their simulated car on the road while responding to the text. And now let's take it to Brad Deaton with sports. Brad? Thanks, Jenna. The West Washington football team went 4-5 and five this year. The team had a rough transitional season due to the loss of last year's seniors, not to mention the fact that the class of 2012 senior football players is a smaller group than the school has seen in the past few years. Despite those issues, the team still ended up with four great wins. Keep working hard, boys. The Lady Senator volleyball team went 10 and 15 this year. Head coach Christy Tushier says this is an improvement because they doubled their wins from the 2010 season. Just keep on improving, girls. That's all for sports. Back to you, Jenna. The Impact Club has been busy. They took a group of volunteers to Tampa, Florida this summer to volunteer at a mission school. Here is what Impact member Samantha Mullet had to say about the trip. While we were down there, we worked on the migrant farm and um, actually the daycare for it. And they, we built a gazebo. Uh, we painted the rest of one of the gazebos. We built a playground. We mulched on our last day there we actually went to um, one of the places where they work and we cleaned up and weeded everything and actually got to meet some of the workers and got to eat lunch there. The club also hosted the annual See You at the Poll on Wednesday, September 28th. Students gathered for songs, prayers, and fellowship. That concludes today's episode. I'm Zach Trueblood. And I'm Jenna Hoover. Tune in next time for Senator, Senator Scene TV. TV.